How do we make drones safe? What technology do we put on them? Maybe one way we can make drones safe is to stop selling them to the Israeli regime that uses them to bomb children. Is that a good idea? Do you think that maybe we can use this technology to stop bombing children? Do you think maybe Talis can stop profiting off of the deaths of Palestinian children? Is that something you think we could do? Do you think we could do that maybe? Maybe we could just stop being war criminals. Ladies and gentlemen, this company is immoral. We have an obligation to stop companies from profiting off of war. This man profits off of Palestinian debt. Are you kidding me? Are we really just going to come to a conference in 2023 without considering the consequences of our actions? Where are his profits going? Why is Israel's greatest export the drone industry? All of you have some serious questions to ask yourself. This talk is supposed to be on safe skies. And how safe does anybody take the man seriously who is responsible for the death of hundreds of mothers and fathers, brothers and sisters? from unsafe skies, who profits from unsafe skies consistently. This is a man who gets off on apartheid, who gets off on genocide, and who sells to Israeli regimes consistently. This is a man who today, they're demonstrating their new technology, which is surveillance used on civilian populations, captive populations. Now, I want you to imagine, or I want Mr. Joy himself to imagine, he's got grandkids, right? I want more innovation for him to imagine his young children in his family having heart attacks at the age of four or five because they have become so afraid of the skies. Because that is what is happening with the technology that Talis is producing. Because children of four or five already know that you hear sounds of that sailor's drone and it is followed by the sound of missiles. This is children who are having heart attacks. You have done this. You know what?
I'm going to continue. Okay, so so let's uh, let's let's keep going with the uh, with the presentation. So imagine the future, and that future is urban air mobility, air mobility, drones, air traffic, all flying together, air taxis. Actually, that future isn't the future anymore. It's now. It's the near future, and it's something that we all need to be responsible for and thinking about. So, what is the realistic vision for a near future of air mobility? So, well, kind of, you've seen in the press lots and lots about we're going to deploy lots and lots of drones, they're going to deliver your pizzas, they're going to deliver your Amazon packages, um, and they're going to do other stuff. Well, what's the other stuff? Um, and actually, how are they going to be integrated across all of flight? So when we're looking at the near future now, we've got to take into account all of these functions. And actually, we've got more of a function in terms of surveillance. So looking at our border controls, uh, looking at, looking at uh, our, our own country and looking at the, uh, the areas where we get demonstrations as an example, for example, where we need a drone to take pictures. 